working with Visual Studio, one of the important things in my mind is to have an environment that you can easily make changes, see uh, the properties, uh, just have a quick way to get to the, uh, the things that you need to use to program. By default, and this is because of my limited screen space here, this is the way Visual Studio comes when you install it. I'm looking right now at, this is Visual Studio 2008, so I have the split design source view down here. Uh, I also have the Solution Explorer off to the right. What I like to have is I like to have a tabbed server explorer because I do a lot of database applications. And I also like to have my properties at the bottom half of the window. So the first thing that you could do there is to go ahead and view your toolbars. If you view the, the, the server explorer, and that will automatically tab the server explorer to the solution explorer. Then I'm going to go ahead and view and get the properties window. And it actually put it where I wanted it to be, which is at the bottom half. Let's say we had a floating properties window. Of course, uh, Visual Studio has a tool to where we can tab it. I could tab it with the with this here. I wouldn't want to do that. I want to. What I would like to do is I'm going to go ahead and close that properties window, and I'm going to start over. View properties window, and I guess I'm going to float it. Float it out here, and then I'm going to come over here to the right side, and you'll see this icon. We're going to have to dock it again. Once it's dockable, I can come down here and bring it to the bottom half. This this little tool here takes a while of getting used to. This would be put it to the right of what I have. This would put it as another tab. Uh, this is actually going to put it on the bottom half. So I'll click that and we have our properties at the bottom half. That way, if I'm over here and I'm going to go ahead and go to the split view, I already put a label on this page. If I click that label, uh, you'll see that the properties, I'm going to drag this up. The properties are all right here in my properties window. And of course, uh, when I'm not recording, I have a lot more screen space. So this little properties window takes a very little space on the overall uh, desktop. But uh, you, you can see that I have access and I can go to you know, full list view, alphabetize. I even have my methods if I needed to do, uh, if, I, if I needed to code for data binding, I could click there and the, the, uh, the, the method for data binding would come up. I could code right here. But it just, to me, it's just a good way of setting up your environment, having the solution explorer and the server explorer tabbed and then the properties window in the bottom half of that. Uh, I'd like to hear from anyone else that does Visual Studio uh, uh, programming. If there's a better way, if you find a better way to set up your environment, let me know.